I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to drop it from a height of 3 meters. Okay. Now, if there was no air friction, how many seconds would it take this piece of paper to hit the ground? Let's say there was no air friction. Let's calculate that before we actually do the experiment. Okay. So, uh, with no air friction, how many seconds would it take? So we go y equals uh, half uh, gt squared, right? Uh, I'm assuming here that the initial velocity, I'm going to drop it at the initial velocity of 0, right? <coughs> so Okay, so if there was no air friction, it would take that many seconds for it to drop. What does that one come out? 0 0.78 seconds. Okay, so now I'm going to take the, uh, the piece of paper and I'm going to drop it from a height of uh, one meter here. Anyone have a stopwatch there on you? On your cell phone? Yeah. Got it? Anybody? Or we, you can go and ask the lab tech, give you one quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the, the piece of paper not too crumbled and not too flat. You know, kind of like in the average. If I crumble it up too much, it will fall pretty fast and the time will equal that. Or at least it will be close to that. So I'm going to kind of have it a little bit like this, kind of spread out, so that the air friction is a little bit more. Okay? You got the stopwatch? No? Okay, let's go get one. Stopwatch? You know what? Let me just see here. Can you tell the people coming we're going to be here for, um, five more minutes so they won't open the door? Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> oh, someone needs to do the timing. Okay, so I'm going to drop it. This is uh, here. Three meters is right. That's three meters is crazy. You said. Go. Two point five. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I purposefully made the surface area quite a bit big to increase the friction. Okay, so we got 2.5 seconds. Okay, based on that, we should be able to calculate what is the B and what is the, uh, what is the final velocity when it hit the ground.
you know what, I think let's stop it and then do it when we get back.